Dear God, I got one question I need to know, do revolutionaries go to heaven? And if so, may their legacies last forever And they seeds grow Tell them that we love them so And never let them die slow It's like we cursed to be born black We was kings and queens, now look where we at I know it won't be long before we take it back I just hope I live long enough to see it happen And that's a fact Cause one thing when you pro-black you might love your people, but they may not love you back For more than 400 years, we've been under attack We survived slavery and then they gave us crack Do revolutionaries go to heaven? 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 I wanna know Do revolutionaries go to heaven? I hope so Do revolutionaries go to heaven? I wanna know Do revolutionaries go to heaven? I hope so Peace King, how you feeling? Peace, can you hear me brother? Yeah, definitely Oh good, okay, okay Yeah, I'm doing excellent brother Ty, how you doing? All is well. All is well. I got to thank you again. It's truly an honor, first and foremost, for coming on the platform. Oh, no doubt, brother. It's my pleasure, my honor, brother. It's all good. Most definitely. Um, okay, so the, for the viewers who may not know who you are, let them know what your name is and let them know where you're from. Well, Kaba Hiawatha Kamene. Basically, I'm an educator. Um, worked in South Central Bronx, New York. 31 years educating. I do staff development and curriculum writing. I've, I've written three books and I do quibinars, which are quick webinars, teaching our community educational methodologies. And then I do webinars that teach the content of the materials of what we need to know. There's a difference between what you teach and how you teach. And I've developed quibinars to teach how to teach. And I've developed webinars to teach what to teach. And so what I do is I reach out to the community, particularly focusing on our children, on how to educate them and the importance of understanding the role of culture. As I as I repeat what Dr. Wade Noble says frequently, water is to a fish as culture is to a human. You, you live in it. Man, most definitely. I got to thank you again. You done contributed so much, man. You done inspired and influenced so many people. And more importantly, like you say, the babies, the children, man, they need it the most, most definitely. 30 years, man. Some people don't work a job that long. Oh, you man. Just, and and man, that's just with the Board of Ed, Brother Ty. You know, that's just with the Board of Ed because I taught college for 14 years and I do consultant work now. So I've never stopped educating, but my formal job uh, was 31 years New York City Board of Ed. I've, I've taught every grade and I've taught every subject. Wow. And I purposely did that to be able to get to the babies and to understand how to form. Because sometimes, mm. brother, as you know, as you, as you mature, you buy into the system more. And it's hard to break mm -hmm. away from. But when you can get them when they're four and five years of age, brother, you can get some knowledge in them that they can battle the demons as they mature. Most definitely. I think Frederick Douglass, he got a quote. What he say is, it's easier to raise strong children than it is to repair broken men. So yeah. that's, that's definitely true. It's true. And, you know, brother, and, you know, Brother Ty, I remember another uh, thing that Frederick Douglass said. He said the very best thing that ever happened to him was the very worst thing that ever happened to him. He said the best thing that ever happened to him was when he learned how to read. The worst thing that ever happened to him is once he learned how to read, he came to figure out the position he found himself in. Because <laughs> when you have knowledge, then you know. Even if the tide isn't going in your favor, you know what you're experiencing. Oh, when yeah, you oh, yeah. And you see, I know, you know, I understand what he meant by that, Brother Ty, for, in terms of you and in terms of me. Because once we started reading, once we started learning, now we on stream, y'all talking to each other. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Most definitely. And that's a dangerous I mean, thing to certain people. Oh, yeah. No doubt. No doubt. Most definitely. And then it's like the more you learn, the more you know, it's harder to make excuses. You got to hold yourself accountable. You know better. So, you know. You got to do better. 
Mm-hmm. You know, so for the viewers that's watching, no, go ahead. No, man, I follow you, brother Ty. Oh, I just wanted to remind them that uh, you appeared on several Hidden Colors documentaries. I was just watching Bug Breaking. You was on there. So, mm -hmm. you know, you done spoke with the best of the best of them. You know what oh, I'm saying? Man. I've been in every Hidden Colors. And, you know, the new one's coming out. You know, the, well, the, the, the one that he's working on now. You know, um, uh, he's already put up on Instagram. He spoke to Sister Vicki Dillard. And today he spoke to... Um, brother dr phil valentine mm. and wednesday uh james smalls and i are scheduled to uh go into the studio wow. so we're, we're, we're working on the next one brother 1526 the american maroon oh wow that's gonna be powerful i look forward to that i yeah, definitely man. look forward to that okay so uh Based on our last conversation, for the viewers who may not know, um, what I wanted to know more about is in Black America, a lot of times when you ask Black Americans who they are or where they're from, you kind of get, um, in general, you get a variety of answers. So, you know, we have some people that say, well, we was already here. You know, we didn't come over here on boats or uh, via slavery. And you have some people say, well, we from the Holy Land. We, we Israelites and, and we not African. You know, they make that clear. And you got some people, hey, we, we, we from Africa, but we from the West Side or we from we Moors. So is it any group of people on the earth that exists um, independently of African people? No. And everybody's the same. And see, I'm tripping over the fact that we're fighting over things we call ourselves. You know, it's like if we fought over our name. Your name, Ty. My name, Kaba. Jill. Judy, John, Kwame. And we all going to fight over our name. Yeah. But we're all the same person. I can't. My thing is, if you're a human being, you're an African. Now, did we use the term African? I doubt it. But it's a common term that we all can use to at least be on the same page with each other. It is also what we call a landmass. And so that becomes very important. All human beings are African. Even if you're German, even if you're from Denmark or Norway, if you're Japanese or Chinese, Slovenia, if you fast tracked your ancestry back, we'd all find ourselves in Central South America, and our ancestors would be the Twa Mbuti, the Khoi San. F four different names for the same people Twa, Mbuti, Khoi San. Twa Mbuti are more in Central Africa, the Khoi San more in South Africa, same people. Mm -hmm. They are the original human family. And out of them came all of us. So whatever you call yourself, I don't care. You are more, okay, more. Okay, you are Israel, okay, Israelite. You are Negro, okay, Negro. <laughs> you know, I don't care what you call yourself. Just understand we're all the same. Stop this nonsense. Stop it. Because it don't make no sense. We're all the same. We are, we are from this continent that today is called Africa. All human beings. 